next thing I'm going to show you is called the post series. Remember, we did the wing series where the point guard threw the ball to the wing, and that, and that means we're in our wing series. Now the point guard is going to throw the ball to the breaking post. These post guys are going to have a lot of movement in, in, their, in the offense, and the wing players aren't just going to stand at the hash marks. They're going to have a lot of movement. So it's very important that your players do not stand up like pogo sticks. It's very important that they're in, always in basketball position, always ready to move. So now what the point guard is going to do is come down the floor and hit the post. As they break on up, he hits one of the posts. Okay, now we're in our post series. Stop. The first option in the post series is the back door. Post guy's going to come up. He's going to catch the ball at a 45-degree angle so he can see the back door. Now, the key is... When the ball is in the air, he's gone, okay? So put the ball right back at the point guard's hand. Let's start all over again. All right, here we go. Break on up, point guard hits, post series right there. Lay it up, that's the first option in the post series. Second option in the post series is what we call side post action. Okay, you see it very often in college basketball and in the pros. The Lakers have to do this in their triple post. What happens? The post we have the uh, post series. Here we come. He breaks up. Okay, option one right there. Okay, now this is option two. Okay, he's going to come off the post and hand the ball off. He's going to go ahead and lay it up. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Option two now. Post series, back door, back door, here we go, side post, option two. So when the point hits the post, we call that side post action. And there's a lot of things you can do off that action. You can screen and roll, you can pick and pop, all kinds of things you can do on the side post action. But right now, we'll just hand the ball off to the guard and he'll lay it in. Now we're going to go to option number three in the post series. Here we go. We hit the post. Option one, back door. Option two, fake. He dribbles, comes off. Option three, makes the shot. Good, good. Let's walk through that option three one more time. Post series. Here we go. Option one, back door, side post. Okay, hold it. Stop. Right there. The weak side wing, that's you right here. That's my three man. He has the ball. You're in, you got the ball in the side post with a basketball position. As soon as he dribbles, as soon as he dribbles, he takes off for option three. That's very important. And the reason why is because we might not be done here. We might catch the ball here. I might hit him and we might be in a screen and roll action. We might have some two-man game on this side of the floor. We don't know what's going to happen here because there's a lot of options over on this side of the floor. And if this wing player takes off, it's going to clog the, ac the action. So it's very important that each guy goes on their cue. And this particular, the wing player on the opposite side's cue is to cut when he takes the dribble, when the post player takes the dribble. Here we go, try the option three, go, dribble, dribble, go. Come right off that thing and make a play, he can shoot it. All right, let's walk through that again. Now you're gonna flatten out, okay? You're gonna flatten out, the point guard flattens out on option three, so you flatten out to the corner, okay? All right, you're out, you're over there on your corner. All right, do it again, stop, right there, option three, he goes, takes off, right there. Now, the great thing about it, you see the whole lane of the basket is open because we got three guys on this side of the floor. And this is great penetration and kick action. Because if I'm guarding the side post guy who came out to the wing area or the baseline, I got to help. And if I come and you drive and help, that's a great penetration kick for a three-pointer. Okay? So those are the things in option three. Now, 
Now what we're going to do is option three to a reset, okay? Option three to a reset. So if the guy cutting, if the guy cutting off the post doesn't have anything, he's going to back the ball up, and we're going to be in a reset formation. Here we go. Back door, side post, go. Option three, right there. Doesn't have it. Reset, reset. Wide and high, reset. There we go. We're racking our original. Now we're in the wing series. Okay, hold it right there. Good job. You guys are getting smart. All right. Now we're going to go over the fourth option, so we'll walk through the fourth option, which is very, very good basketball. Anytime you get ball reversal, it's good in basketball because the defense has to move. So that's what this offense is really predicated on, is ball reversal, even through the wing series or the post series. And getting to the fourth option is one way of getting ball reversal. Now we're going to walk through this, we're going to hit, hit the point, hit the post, post series, we've got option one, St hold it right there, hold it right there, option two, right? Got the side post. Now, the opposite post is going to go ahead and set a screen, and he wants to be in the paint. And the reason why he's setting the screen in the paint, because when he turns, pins, and seals his man, he's going to have an easy shot at the basket. He's going to have a closer shot at the basket. If he sets the screen outside the lane, and he comes off the screen to the corner of the baseline, okay, now when he posts up, Okay, he's going to be about two feet off the lane, and I'm a defensive player. I can ride him out of that post position. So he wants to set his screen in the lane. Okay, now what we're going to do, guys, let's, let's run through the fourth option live. Okay, let's go get to our spots, and we're going to shoot the, shoot the shot in the corner. Okay, fourth option, fourth option, three pointer. Go, go, right there, set the screen. Here we go, third option, fake it. Right there, he's posting up, pin and seal. Good, knock it down. Okay. is we're going to run the fourth option, he's going to pin and seal, and you're going to dump the ball down in the post, okay? So you're going to put, get, get in that lane, you're going to pin and seal, and we're going to dump it, to, dump it down here for a quick, easy score. Here we go, fourth option A, fourth option A. Here we go. Good job, good job, good job. All right, the next option we're going to do is fourth option B, is what we call in the duck-in move, okay? The duck-in move, which is very good in basketball. Because any time you can get the ball in the center of the floor, either through a guard or dribble penetration or through a pass, no matter who has it, good things can happen because you have either side of the floor to go to. When the ball's on one side of the floor, you only have certain options. So anytime you can get the ball in the center of the floor, it's very good. That's why post series is very, very good action and good basketball, because a lot of good things can happen. Because if you can get the ball in the heart of the defense, then great things are going to happen. You have many, many options as a basketball player. Now, what we're going to do, let's hit the post. Again, hit the post. Right, back cut right there. Here we go. Right, third option. He cuts, cuts up, you cut out, okay, and we have the duck in move. So now, I'll do this for you real quick here, okay? Come on off, start one more time. You just go ahead and watch me, okay? As he comes in, you start right there. You take the dribble, right? You just take the dribble as he comes off me, okay? I reverse pivot, I pin seal, duck in, and I score the ball, okay? And that's very important. It's a reverse pivot in the paint, butt down low, reverse pivot, get your man on your back, and he just takes a couple dribbles, 
and shoves a bounce pass down to you, and you have a nice, easy score. If you have a good post player down there, you'll get that a lot, or you'll get the fourth option in, okay? It's very difficult to cover all of that, okay? So let's go the fourth option B, which is the duck-in move. Here we go. Let's go. Let's run it sharp now. Here we go. Go back door. Two. Here we go. Good. Nice job. Good job. now is the fourth option reset. Remember, we reset the ball after the wing series, and we're going to reset the ball after the post series. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you reset if the ball goes to the fourth option, into the, if the ball goes to the corner to the fourth option guy. He's going to throw the ball back out, and we're going to re reestablish our positions, and now we're going to either going to run the post series or the wing series. Here we go, guys. Post series, you got back door, side post, third option. Here we go, look the force here, here we go, reset, everyone gets back, good job, right there. As you see, hold it right there, as you see, we just suck the defense in, and then we're bringing them out again. Now this is where you get your back doors, your lobs over the top, your high-low situations. Anytime you can get the defense moving, okay, and then suck them back out to guard, especially pressure defenses, you really open up the defense. Number one, you wear defenses out. They get tired, I'll guarantee it. They'll make a mistake somewhere down the line. And if you got, if your team is really fundamentally sound and they execute the offense the way it's supposed to be executed, there'll be a crack in the door where you're gonna get a high percentage shot. That's offensive basketball at its best.